Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Monday. Finally, we have such a busy week. This week is show week, you guys. Finally, show week. I also think I might have found another show for us to go to. Oh, Gabby, you little sneak. She just snuck in here behind me. I beat her down here, but she wants to make it look like, whoa. I think that was a puppy problem. Whoa. Our Barbie getting messy. Oh, mess everywhere I look. That's what happens, you guys. You guys think that I'm just being mean to Sam when I say he's not as good at chores as me. It's true. I'm more particular, and I think that's normal. You get green. Wait. Look at she's waiting. Wait. 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 Oh, I did it. See, you guys, I just need to learn it all in my own time. Wait. 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 And there you go. are already headed down to feed the boys. Today we might be having a special guest on the Day by Day Farm, somebody who's never been here before, somebody who might ride our horses. I'm super excited to share that with you. If he shows up, he might not show up, but I have a feeling he will. If you're an OG member, then you might know, uh, then you might know Sam's dad. Sam's mom and dad, they live a couple hours away from us. We don't see them that often, usually a couple times a year, but Last night he messaged them and said, listen, I am going crazy. I need to get out of the house. I'm coming to visit you. And we were like, okay, come and visit. And the thing that's crazy about Sam's dad is that when he was young, he worked at a racetrack and in Toronto. And he knows a lot about horses. Or so he says. We're going to find out. He says he can ride. We're going to find out. Hopefully. Because sometimes he says he's going to come and then he doesn't. So we'll see. So update on our kitten stuff you guys had some questions number one is uh people are worried they're going to jump through here and yet that is going to happen not for a while though they're pretty tiny there's no way they're going to be jumped that be able to jump that high yet there's no way they're going to jump that high yet soon but not yet they're too tiny um question number two uh, why don't we keep them in our house this is their house. This is gonna be their house, and the reason that we are getting the kittens is so they can help keep down our mice population and our chipmunk population that is eating, that are eating our grain and eating stuff in our barn that we want to prevent. So that's what they're for. They're barn cats. I, don't, I think different countries are different, but in Canada, it's customary if you have a barn to have a barn cat or two to help keep down the mice population. It's just one way to do it. And that's what we've decided to do. I know in Europe they have so many rules and regulations different here. Um, so what we're going to do is keep them in this stall for a couple of weeks because I do honestly believe that, and that if they're kept here for a couple of weeks, it'll give them a good idea that this is their home and this is where they need to come back to eat. Also, we will be taking them outside and playing with them outside and acclimatizing them around the barn. And whenever possible, we will lock them in in the winter. But you guys know, when we had Hendrix here, we tried locking him in, but this barn is not airtight, and he's a cat, and he's wily, and he could get anywhere. He would climb up here, and then up there, and then climb up there. He would jump from there and climb up there and get out that way. Or he would go under the door, even though we tried to prevent that, he could still get underneath he this would door. jump it, and then go under. Like, you name it, the cat could get out. When at all possible, we will lock them in at night when they're released, when they're older, and they have free range of the whole farm. Um, one of the reasons that I don't want them to be up at the house, people were asking, like, why not keep them in your house? I don't want them to get used to coming up to the house. I don't want them to think that the house is a part of their family or a part of their life because we live on a busy, busy road. And you guys know that cats and busy roads, we live right on a corner, actually, and, ho and cars just zoom around the corner. So it's not a good area to have a cat. So I want to prevent them from going up there. We did a really good job with Hendrix keeping him away from the road. So we're going to try and do that again. Right, Sophie? We want to do whatever I'm we can. I'm traveling with my camera. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we're not taking them to the house. 
I know we want to, but we can spend as much time in the barn as we want. But it's hot out. That's not too bad today. I feel a nice breeze. If anyone is interested, this is how our bucket of rocks went with Chino. I think he had great fun with it. Took the lid off, stomped it to death, or chewed it to death. It really goes to show you that he does like toys. He does need toys. He's a toy horse. Okay, so we are headed out shopping because it is lesson day. It is it is lesson day, so we are headed out shopping. And I lost my keys. I don't even know how I got black on me. Um, I looked everywhere for them. Like, I just spent the last hour tearing apart the car. The thing is, I don't ever take my keys out of my purse unless I hand them to the kids to unlock the door when we get home. You so, don't. You almost never hand the keys to me. I know. Especially when Dad's here. Yeah, Dad always hand... unlocks the door. No, he hands me the keys. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's so weird. Sam had extra set at home. Thank goodness. Otherwise, I'd be calling him to come take me shopping. Um, it is lesson day, and I like to have some food on hand for our trainer. So I, I try and do we still have Sour Patch Kids? A little bit. Um, I always try and have something here for our trainers just because it's nice for them. So this is the section that Brandon likes, I feel like. Brandon is a candy -aholic. So Sophie and I are here. We're going to pick some candies for Brandon. He loves all different kinds. He loves sour keys. I don't think they have sour keys. They do have sour keys. We're also going to pick some candy for Fiona because yeah. Fiona comes tomorrow. Oh! So them. These are his favorite sour keys. All right, so this is Fiona's section. Isn't it cool that we know what our trainers eat? Do you like Fiona? I don't think Fiona likes score. I know she likes Reese's Pieces. This looks so good. And they're two for two dollars. Let's get that. Oh, one for two twenty-nine. Two seven. Oh yeah, two twenty-nine. All right, let's get two of these. Okay, so definitely these are the masks to go with. All the other ones that you buy, they don't fit the same. They don't work the same. Like these are the ones. These are the ones that you gotta wear. The funny thing about us shopping for our, our coaches for snacks. So he said, I was at the cash register, and I never know. Like I want to have a variety of things that they want. I don't want to just be like, here, I bought you a chocolate bar. Like. So we're at the cash register and I'm like looking at all the stuff they have behind the counter and I'm like getting more stuff. And Sophie says to me, you're just like me, shoving everything you can at the cash register into your cart. <laughs> and it's true, Sophie likes to shop so much. Like you, you guys gotta see this girl shop. And I worry that I'm giving her a complex because I'm always like, not that, not that, not that. Like there's a reason why 10 year olds should not have their own money. And Gabby is here. Say hi Gabby. Hi. She's here. Purple hair has made her a much calmer, quieter person. She just comes along for the ride. She doesn't hang out with us anymore. She's too cool for us. You're too cool for us? <laughs> Always was, right? <laughs> okay, so I want to show you guys something so amazing. Okay, I have blueberry laying here on my bed. So I'm going to cover blueberry with this big, heavy comforter. Hopefully this will still work. That's not heavy. Okay. This way. You did not cover me. I mostly oh. covered you. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna actually work out, but okay. So see this, like how- You did not put it, wait, hold up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't you know I'm the non-perfect girl? Yeah. Okay, so see this? How would you keep this blanket wrapped all the way around you nice and tight so you're warm? Wait, this is how I sleep. Yeah. So you have to pull it, but just wait, stay there. So you have to pull it and wrap it, but then look it over here. Just wait, stay there. See this? There's holes here. Oh, and you're then, talking about your um, blanket. So I always end up wrapping it around me completely. And then- I always have three blankets. Yeah, me so too. So it's weighted enough to stay. I know, yeah. exactly. But now watch this. Ow! You hit my face! Sorry. Okay, just say don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, now look. She's already cocooned in this blanket. So she can move around in here, but it's- I can't move around, look. I can't move around. Yeah. With a normal blanket, you can't. I don't like it. Listen, I'm in love with this. Like, let's see if I can show you what's in it. Can you guys see it? Each one of those little squares is a pocket and it's got a little tiny beads in each one. I can do it. Gabby's too weak to hold my 11 pound blanket. So this blanket is 11 pounds. Yeah, it's so small and thin. Look at how thin it is. 
when we were camping in the backyard, um, I you I it? tried to pick this up, and then I had to drop. Where's it. our eyebrow part purple? It's crazy that you guys can't even carry 11 pounds. We need to go to the gym. Anyway, my entire point is that if you don't have a weighted blanket, then you're never gonna sleep as good as I sleep every single night. I get like either I'm too hot in the night or too cold. I love I'm my- I'm a heavy sleeper, so I'm I'm good. just perfect. Anyway, we are headed down for I'm riding lessons. I'm a heavy lessons. sleeper, so I'm okay. I do not need a Okay, if you're not a heavy sleeper, even as a heavy sleeper, I always have blanket problems. I think it goes back to like when oh, you're geez. a baby, there's a snake. I it was a bug. Wait, 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 wait. The snakes are back. Gabby, stop playing with it. It's gonna come up and bite you. Oh, she over here now. Ooh! You need to move those. So this is on the agenda for Brandon. We got him some sour peas. I also bought him some Macintosh toffee. Who knows, like, who doesn't love some good toffee? I like it, maybe he will like it. And we also bought this Reese's cup. He might like that. And I know for sure Fiona likes that. And then we also have some 7-Up in the fridge, which is what Brandon likes. I have some Pepsi for Fiona, in case that's what Fiona likes. And yeah, that's what we have. I need more ideas for trainer snacks. If you were coming to the Can day by, no. Can if you were coming to the day by day farm, what would you want me to buy to make you feel comfortable and happy to come here? Brandon, comment like below that. your favorite treat. I want it too. I smelled it because I thought it smelled like it smelled like mint. Gabby like sprayed smell? me in the face with fly spray. Ooh, I smell it. Wasn't nice. That's yeah, not nice, but at least no flies are gonna spry, fly in your face. Tell that to you Storm when there's the no bugs. He's gonna have one. No, they're for Brandon here. This is Chino's favorite snack. Let's go to the field, shake this, and see if he comes running. All right, let's do it. Let's hey, show I them what it is them. first. It's Sour Patch Kids. They're the best. I tried to give Chino a yellow one because I hate them, and freaking Chino didn't like it either. He uh, likes all the other colors. That's crazy. So crazy, the dogs like them too. <laughs> we are gonna test out Gabby's theory. We're going to get the horses and bring them in for riding lessons. Sam's dad also is on the way. He already knows. He's already done eating. He's like, oh, look at Finny, come! Come on, so I'm gonna run, just to heads up. Come on, here he goes. So Gabby's right, they like sour keys, sour patch kids, or whatever those things are. <laughs> but he's but he's excited to see. If you like the yellow flavor, then you can have them. Alright, let's see if Sheena will eat yellow. Do it. Do it now and don't give Finn any more. Wait. Oh. Did he spit it? He's trying, he doesn't like it. I think he does like it. Finn just likes food. Finn likes it. Do you want some yellow? He eats it, Gabby. Mm, no. He can't be your horse now? All right, let's take him in. Trainer. This is show week, and sadly, Chino is not up to show standards he's not he doesn't have the stamina yet and he's still a little tiny bit off all Gabby's been able to do since he got a little tiny bit better is kind of keep his exercise up a tiny bit Why are you backing up? She's still not there yet so she can't show him which is really sad to me because we bought her a really nice show horse and now she can't show him and it's all our fault because I kept saying his feet are breaking his feet are breaking and I didn't know enough to know that he was gonna get sore from it. I should have like fought harder. I should have like called the farrier and said like you need to come early like I don't know I feel frustrated. I feel frustrated by the whole situation But there's nothing we can do about it So we're gonna just do the best that we can and make the best of it And we have to be grateful for the fact that we have still two other horses Look at him. He's like so happy. He's like thank you Sophie. That is my foot Go step on her foot. So I, the girls were grooming their horses and I groomed Storm. I love grooming horses. I think that's my big thing in life is that I like to take care of the horse. Like I like to physically, like I can massage him. I can 
scratch him for hours. Anyway, I picked his feet. Like, remember there was a time where I hated picking feet. It was scary for me. Now I just, I do Sophie's horse's feet because she's nervous about the back feet, but the horse is and so good. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon and um, Gabby's going to ride. She's going to work out Chino because he needs to get back into shape. So that's the plan for him. Just keep riding him, riding him, riding him. It takes like forever to build up a, a horse. And this horse, like Storm, could stop work and then like take a week and be built back up and this horse seems to really take a lot of time my point is that i groomed storm and was so had so much fun and enjoyed it so much and it's a good thing i didn't forget anything because this girl is going riding very soon before the end of this week you will see i'm going riding and it won't be on the day by day farm in fact we're all going riding this is gonna be a noisy lesson, you guys. It is super windy. And we put the umbrella down. We put, yeah, away. we put the umbrella down because it was gonna blow away and it was shady. And then as soon as we put it down, the sun came out. And now we're boiling again. It's gorgeous out today, though. Such a nice breeze. Perfect day for riding. It's running a little bit late, but it's almost lesson time, and Sophie's getting Finny ready, and then we're gonna go. Sam's dad just pulled in. I saw him up there. I'm waiting for him to come down. I have my treats here for the dogs. We we've been training the dogs not to bark. We've been training our dogs to come to us when somebody comes to the property. And there's Gabby out there, cooling off her boy. This is such a pretty. Hey, 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 hey! Sam's dad showed up. Brandon brought a friend, and suddenly we're having a party. Good thing I brought food. Brandon brought one of his little dogs. You guys know he has like a lot of little dogs. He brought a little spotted dog. And our dogs went and played with him and did really well. I was really impressed. And our uh, chiropractor that came, she brought her dog. And she told us that we've done a really good job socializing Molly. So that's so good that we had opportunity to socialize her. So easily. Yeah. And Storm probably never broke a sweat, right? He broke a little bit of a sweat. Yeah. Chino yeah. Sam just said, who invited my dad anyway? Oh my I said, why? And he said, because now he's making me help him build a chicken savior. coop. I'm like, yes! It looks good. Wow, I like it better than, I like how tall it is. No, I love it. This is the door. No, the door's okay. on this uh, end. I love it. Lighten it's only it up. for the day, right? Can you lighten it up before I put this thing in there? Lighten it up. The ground Line is okay? Up. Maybe it was a sledgehammer. What do you do with it? Do you think they'll be able to get underneath that door? No. So this is the door, and we'll go in there. You want another piece? No, I don't. I want to sit on top of that. Thing. That's why. Here. I, oh, you just sit here. Yeah, that's oh. why I did that. That's why I made it like a little bit bigger, right? Well, that's neat. That'd be a perfect spot to put their food and water. Don't you know that you're beautiful?